Hi there. Welcome to C programming tutorial. I am your host Suhail Hamid. Um, today we are going to learn about uh, uh, how to input and output messages on the console. Um, last time we learned about different kind of variables, constants and different kind of types. Today we are going to learn about how to output the values of those variables on the screen that's what what we are gonna do if uh, on the screen you right now on the video um, you can you should be able to see a link to the playlist of all the tutorials in this series um, please make sure that you watch all of them um, okay let's get started so last time we learned how we can use the uh, the how 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 we can declare the variables and how we can assign values to them and how we can basically do the operations like plus minus on those um, variables so here let's let's say if we if let's say we write a program that basically is going to add two numbers and output um, it the result and on the screen so let's let's say let's let's say uh, um let's declare a variable x and then a variable y and then a variable z now let's give the values to these variables let's say x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 and z is equal to x plus y so our goal was to basically add two numbers together so this is how we are going to do it uh, we take and declare the variable x we declare the variable y we declare the variable z and then we assign a value to this variable assign you know value to y and then we say that z is actually the gets the value of x plus y so at this point the value of z should be 5 now we want to output that value on the screen so how are we going to do that let's see so this is what you do whenever you have to output something on the screen on the uh, on the console what you have to do is to use this function don't worry about what functions are we're going to cover it later on but just remember that you have to write print f as it is shown in the screen right now and then break it start you know parenthesis and then quotes you have to write everything in quotes that you want to be printed as is so we st start with quotes and then we write the sum of 2 and 3 is 5 okay now notice that we haven't used the variables themselves here but let's let's just write this for for now and and please ignore whatever is written here so this is it so we we wrote that and now what we are going to do is we are going to compile it how do you compile it as i said you know computer is not going to understand this computer doesn't understand c computer doesn't understand c++ it doesn't understand pascal it doesn't even understand assembly the only language it understands is machine language so every program that we write in any other language we have what we have to do we have to translate it into the machine language and this and this process is called compiling the program so we are going to compile this program so we take this tools we go to tools and then we basically sorry we go to execute and then we go to compile and run and as you can see it's it's it has a shortcut of pressing f9 so most of the time i'll be pressing f9 so we'll go to execute and then do compile and run and then it, it will start compiling it and bingo look at this it's displaying the output the result of that program running and what it did what is saying the sum of two and three is five so cool so this is what we asked it to do to begin with you know we we asked it to basically uh, what we did was we in this program we asked it to write this message and what it is doing is it's writing as is it's not 
writing the actual values here so how do we display the actual values this is what we do okay then this is what's going to come in handy something called format specifier so printf needs a string this is called a string a string is basically a collection of characters so each one like t h e they are all characters the string is the collection of all these characters so if you want to print the value of x which is 2 instead of this 2 what we have to do is to we have to write percent d here and as you can see that percent d basically represents the integer format specifier so it says these are called format specifiers anything you know that has percent followed by a small character it tells the compiler what it needs to print in, instead of this so we write percent d it tells the compiler that okay it has to print the sum of and it doesn't want to print percent d it will have to print the value of this variable that we specify here similarly instead of 3 I'm going to change it to percent D and then write Y because we want the second operand to be printed here and then for the result we'll change it to percent from percent D and then place Z here so essentially what we are doing here is basically we are telling the compiler that print this the sum of then the value of X and the value of Y is the value of Z so let's see how the compiler uh, deals with it now so let's see execute oops execute whoa Oh, because this program is still running. Okay, here, percent compile and run, and here, look at this. The output is exactly the same as it was before. The only difference is the way we are creating this output. The output that we are creating here, percent D, it's basically it's, it, this two is basically the value of X this time. It's not the part of this message itself it's basically the substituting in this message it's substituting the value of x here so if I change the value of x to say 5 or 4 then let's see what happens um, I will close that and then do another compile look at this see the message changed the message changed the sum of 4 and 3 is 7 because the value of x is now 4, the value of y is 3, and the value of z is 7. So you see, the point is that whatever you have to write, you can write, but when you have to, whatever the message that you have to write, you, have to, you, can, you can write that message, but if you have to print the values of the variables inside that message, you have to use the format specifiers. And here are the format specifiers. For the character type, as we last time we looked that you could have a character char and then you know variable name c so the character types for the character types you use percent c for integer types you could use percent d or percent i they are, they are the same they 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 are exactly the same so you could use any of those for float we also learned the data type called float you could have a variable defined F and what what do they do they basically hold numbers but not integers any number like you know 2.5 etc well we are running out of time so let's uh, let's continue this lecture in the next video be sure to watch it thank you so much